Welcome to the world debut of the new and redesigned 2024 GMC Sierra heavy duty truck. I'm standing next to this dually one ton 3500 truck. It's a Denali. And here's what GMC says. They say it's the most advanced and the most luxurious truck in its class, period. Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you around the design, all the tech and all the stuff underneath, like the capability and the engine. And you be the judge, is it the most capable most advanced and the most luxurious. I'm also gonna show you the Denali Ultimate, the new part of Sierra heavy duty lineup. So let's get going. Well, let's take a look at the truck in profile. Overall, the chassis remains largely unchanged, but the suspension gets a few tweaks, and of course, styling is new. But specifically on this dually one-ton truck, you might already notice brand new design. Now, 18-inch wheels, polished aluminum, and giant front hubcaps, and also in the rear for the dually wheel and tire. And of course, it says Denali right here. So this is brand new. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this new style? I think it makes the truck may look a little bit more butch, a little bit more capable. Overall, the payload and maximum towing remains about the same as before um, on a specially prepared dually truck diesel. Maximum towing is 36,000 pounds, same as the current truck. If you've been following TFL Truck, you probably already have seen the 2024 Chevy Silverado Heavy Duty truck upgrades that are coming next year. Well, what's under the hood of the Sierra Heavy Duty uh, gets the same upgrade, and that's a great thing. So right here, right now, I'm showing you the diesel power truck. So the 6.6 .6 liter turbocharged V8 Duramax engine has been upgraded for the 2024 model year. Also, some of the design and style has been upgraded as well with this functional hood scoop air inlet uh, right here on the hood. So it gets a new turbocharger, new cylinder heads with additional cooling or improved cooling for the engine. It gets updated and higher pressure injection system for the diesel and a couple of other tweaks and also a brand new management system, basically the computer that manages the engine for a total power output of 470 horsepower at 2800 RPM and 975 pound-feet of torque at 1600 RPM. So those are pretty big jumps from where the Duramax was before, but it's not class leading as far as on paper numbers. So if you look at Ford Power Stroke, that truck has about 475 horsepower and over a thousand pound-feet of torque. And of course the Ram Cummins has a little bit more torque on paper. But what's behind this engine is a 10-speed Allison transmission or Allison branded transmission that was there before. So, and GMC says that's the way uh, you can put all this power and torque to the ground in the best possible way. So I'll have to wait to see how it works when I drive it, but at least on paper, it's an upgrade in both horsepower and torque. Of course, the 6.6 .6 liter gas V8 engine is still there, but the six speed uh, automatic transmission is no more. Now it's 10 speed Allison Braden transmission, both in the diesel and with the gas engine truck. And that also allows the gas powered trucks to gain a little bit more capability. And there's also an addition of the maximum towing package for the Sierra 2500 trucks that I'll show you in a second. It still has the multi-pro, shown here in the Denali, so you can easily get up into the truck. And this is an eight foot bed. Of course, the gooseneck and fifth wheel prep package is right here. And by the way, of course, the gas V8 numbers, the output remains the same, 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. All right, so the truck is getting more diesel power, it's getting a new transmission, so yes, it's capable. But what about luxury? Here you see the new Denali interior for 2024 heavy-duty truck. And if you know their light-duty trucks, you'll kind of find this familiar. But this, uh, this just shows the materials and the latest design that GMC is offering. And the hugest changes, of course, are right here in front of the driver. So, 
Oh, check out this animation. Of course, that's the latest screen. It's a 13.4 inch diagonal screen in the center and also 12.3 inch digital cluster right there. And there's also the heads up display for a total of about 40 inches, diagonal inches of screens. And here's the big thing. You would say, okay, they just took the interior out of the light duty Sierra 1500 and they basically plopped it in here. Well, a lot of that is true, which is great actually, um, including in this Denali, the wood, the new um, actually authentic aluminum with a special design and all other materials, including the stitching and of course the Bose stereo, but they also upgraded and changed the door cards a little bit when compared to the 1500 series trucks. Let me show you. Heavy duty trucks are very tall, everybody knows that, and that's because of the big frame and the big suspension, but they still wanted visibility. So what they did on the heavy duty truck for 2024 is this section from the um, armrest to the bottom of the glass is a little bit smaller so this section is actually different on the heavy duty, uh, but still materials are still very, very nice. As far as touch points on top and down here in the middle. And of course, here's the Bose speaker system that I was referring to before. So yeah, the visibility uh, should be a little bit better because this line is a little bit lower. <laughs> And this right here is the brand new Denali Ultimate truck, which is very important for their entire lineup, including, of course, the GMC Yukon SUV lineup, their Sierra 1500, and now the heavy duty. Why is it important? Well, this is where their customers, you guys, that's where you guys are going because you're selecting Denali trucks, you're putting every option on these trucks, um, and also 84 off-road is a big part of this as well. Um, they also said 84X, truck will be coming later in 2023. I don't have any more details, but that's what GMC says. So yes, so now you're getting the ultimate truck, which adds every feature in one package, including, as you can see here in the front, what they call Vader Chrome, which is kind of this dark chrome, including the badge. And of course, it also shows off the all of the design, including the new headlamps. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you love the GMC Sierra look or do you prefer the new Chevy Silverado heavy duty truck look? But you can see they redesigned the lower bumper section. They put the designation of the 2500 series or 3500 series truck right here in the lower bumper as well. And then down here are the fog lamps and they're kind of surrounded by this vertical element as well. And Vader Chrome extends all the way down. Um, and even the Chrome tow hooks as well. And also the wheel design. So you have several different options right here. Right now, this is their 20 inch wheel. They will also offer an optional 22 inch wheel. And that could be an option on a um, variety of different trim levels. So you can kind of pick and choose. But as far as the Denali Ultimate, this is the way it will come when you select that box. And it will have all the features, of course. And the exterior colors, there'll be multiple colors. This is the way the truck is launching, but there'll be multiple colors as well. Power step, this has been here before, but I like the functionality of it because it kind of tucks in all the way onto the truck when not in use. So if you're on a rough road and going over some, a bit of a terrain, it won't get in the way, but it makes getting in a lot easier. So now let's look at the interior before I show you some of the features in the back. Ah, uh, yes. So this is where the luxury is really turned up and take a look at the seats. Really, really plush, nice leather. Um, everywhere there's a topographical map of the Denali Park and also the coordinates to the Denali Mountain, the tallest mountain in North America. And th this is differentiated, of course, from the other trucks in the Sierra lineup because of how nice the interior is. Also, the seats are 16-way adjustable with massage feature. 
Um, so now your heavy duty truck has massage as, in it as well. Let me show you some of the other features as I get in. All right, so here's the animation once again of the Denali Park and the topo map. And I wanted to point out a couple more things. So first of all, the design here around the center console. So you see this chrome kind of enveloping, but it's also driver focused. So the passenger is a little bit, well, I guess protected from this environment because I guess GMC driver is what really matters, which I like. A lot of features here, of course, hill descent control, rear tailgate, exhaust brake and your start button is not up here your engine start stop is actually a huge button down here on the center console in the center there's a lot of space you can see your usb and usb-c connectors here there is a wireless charger right here you can kind of put your phone diagonally let me show you so you can put your phone here it's a wireless charger and it doesn't rattle around as it as you move about i've used this on some of the other gm trucks so that's a pretty good design in my opinion uh, your trailer brake controller is right here front and center so as your hand rests here on the center console you can adjust your brake gain and also manual activation actuation on the brake controller so that's kind of at hand in this space right now there is nothing but gmc uh, designers tell me this is where you can put some upfitter switches there'll be up to five switches so if you have additional equipment like snowplow etc for kind of a working environment you'll be able to have some auxiliary switches here as well which is great uh, special wood trim throughout special aluminum trim throughout once again and it's unique to the denali ultimate truck In the back, you'll find updated tail lamps. As you saw on the dually, it's the same thing here on a single rear wheel 2500 truck. Um, I kind of like this, it looks very premium. And there's also elements here on the outside of the light. But let's take a look underneath because I, this is where I think really the rubber meets the road. And specifically, of course, the leaf springs in the back. So um, they added this additional spring. So basically what they're doing for the maximum towing package on the 2500 series truck is they're taking some of the components from the 3500 series single rear wheel trucks and they're putting it on their 2500s. So for a crew cab, GMC Sierra 2024, the maximum towing rating goes up to 21,900 pounds using the conventional hitch. You could see it right here. And overall rating goes up to 22,500 pounds. So these are class leading numbers. I checked uh, Ram Heavy Duty and Ford Super Duty uh, F250 and Ram 2500 um, can are rated to tow up to 20,000 pounds. So GMC, what they're doing here is they're raising those numbers using the maximum towing package also using the capability from the Allison 10 speed automatic transmission and kind of packaging everything in one to add capability to the truck, which I really love. GMC is also stepping up the technology on the new Sierra heavy duty truck. They're calling it the pro grade trailering system and it packages the following. So if you are connected to a gooseneck or a fifth wheel trailer using, of course, their hitch, you can see here, they also now have the transparent trailer feature where in the center infotainment screen, you can actually uh, see a virtual view behind the trailer using the additional trailer cameras that you can get. There is also the gross combined weight rating alert. So uh, after you drive with the trailer, the truck estimates approximately how much you're towing based on the load on the engine and transmission. And based on that, it, gives you, it can give you an alert if it thinks you're maybe towing something heavier than the truck is capable of. There's also blind spot alert system, including conventional trailering, and also adaptive cruise control system with trailering, including the gooseneck and fifth wheel trailers, which is really, really great, especially in the mountains where I'm from in Colorado. 
uh, all those technologies uh, should be very, very helpful when towing. Of course, a whole suite of driver assistance technologies are still here. Um, check out the driver area. So we have standard forward collision alert, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking is a new feature for 24, automatic high beams, and following distance indicator. Those are all standard. And optionally, you have rear cross traffic braking and trailer side blind zone alert. Those are optional features. Massaging seats button right there. And the Denali Ultimate also has a premium 12 speaker Bose system including additional speakers that are not available in other Sierra models. Here's that central speaker right there on the dash for the 12 speaker premium system. Of course, AT4 is still a very important uh, trim level for GMC Sierra heavy duty. It's still there. Uh, it's gonna continue for 2024 with the, some of the updates I already mentioned. And also the 84X is coming to the heavy duty lineup. Of course, GMC is not telling us all the capability and all the specifications on the new off-road top of the line truck for heavy duty, but it's coming later in 2023. And as soon as we know more details, I'll let you know. All right, so what do you think? I showed you the style, what's going on inside, updated powertrains, some capability, additional technology that GMC has added to their heavy duty truck. Is it really the most advanced and luxurious truck? Well, I think in my opinion, my first impression, especially looking at the Denali Ultimate truck, yeah, they checked the luxury box all day long, but capability and advancement, well, I have to drive the truck to find out. So that's coming later. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, go to oldtfl.com for everything automotive, one-stop shop right there. Thanks. <music>